Hello and welcome to the first multi-evaluation method tutorial. The multi-evaluation workflow efficiently analyzes your sample in great detail. It enables simultaneous running of multiple identification or quantification methods or a sequential workflow that follows a certain hierarchy. You can define target, warning and alarm values and calculate the overall result from individual analysis parameters. To create a multi-evaluation method, short an MEV, you have to add the relevant menu buttons. Left click at the drop down menu, hover over add or remove buttons and then click on customize. Left click on evaluate and then scroll down to multi-evaluation and multi-evaluation setup. Add them to your toolbar via holding left click on them and move them to the place where you want to add the buttons. Close the window. The next important step is that you have to copy your relevant methods into the correct path. Otherwise it won't work. Go to Windows, Users, Public, Public Documents, Ruka, your latest Opus version and into the folder ME Base. Put all required IDENT or Quick Compare methods into the IDENT folder and all integration and quant methods into the quant folder. The ME folder is for the MEV files. Now go back to Opus and open the MEV setup. In the opened window, you can load all your existing MEVs to modify them. To create a new one, just right click on New and choose the method type you want to add. You can combine multiple different methods such as Quant1, 2, Quick Compare or Ident into one single MEV file. In this example, we will work with multiple integration methods. So we left click on Add Integration and afterwards on Add Methods. In the left area, we see all integration methods from the Quant folder. Select one via left click and press Add or work with the shift or the control buttons to add more than one at the same time. Remove it via the remove button. We will create the MEV methods for Isis and used oil. Our required methods are anti-wear, breakdown 1, breakdown 2, diesel and water. In the lower areas, you see the components your methods include. After you edit your required methods, press Apply. Use the Replace method button to replace methods or the Remove method button to remove them. On the right now, you see a table. Each column represents one of the methods. The gray lines are information that cannot be changed because they come from the methods but on the top of the table you have the line Label User. Per default they have the same entry like the label, but you can change them. This is the name which will be written in your report. You can too change the number of decimal places your values will have in the report. The under part of the table will be topic in the next video. There you can set a range your values should be within and the value you expect. Furthermore, you can do some calculations with your method results, but later more. In the last step, save your multi-evaluation method via save or save as. Afterwards, close the window with exit. At the end, one more really important information. You should never change the name of your MEV file in the Windows Explorer. You have to do it via the save as button. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.